Good day, family. I give all praise to only the Almighty, Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I put out a video last week about the Sabians, the Giants, and my queen reminded me of this video that I put out three years ago. In this dream, I had a question. The Almighty answered that question with that video I put out last week. Here's the video. Good day, Good day Israel, and all praises to the Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The other day, I had a dream, and I don't have an answer to it, but I feel that I need to put it out. So, here's the dream. Um, I was looking at that mountain over there. Um, the Father put me in the middle of the mountains up here, and um, I saw a giant on a giant horse. They were both, um, it looked yellow in color. And this horse, it was galloping, but it wasn't the usual motion. Um, it was like, it was almost gliding. And this thing was taller than the trees. And as it went across the top of it, the trees swayed like uh, grass in a field. And um, when I saw it, I was terrified. I've never been that scared in my life. And since the Father woke me up, I've seen a lot of things. I know a lot of things. Where certain people come from, who their fathers are, etc., etc. But this, seeing this giant on this giant horse gliding, in my dream, I just stopped. Um, I couldn't even breathe. And the giant turned to me, and he looked dead at me. And then he turned away, and it wasn't a look like... Um, he wanted to kill me or eat me or anything like that. He just turned and looked at me and everything was, it did, the horse didn't move like a horse. The giant didn't move like a giant. Um, I've never seen anything like that. Even with the movies, I don't watch movies anymore, but even the movies uh, that they put out, nothing moved like this. And um, he turned and he looked at me, and then he turned back and leaned forward, and he started, they started to go faster. And once he turned his head, all of the fear left me. And I just said, it's time. And the confusing part is, it's time. I don't know what it's time for, but this dream wasn't a regular dream. I'm not saying it was a vision, but it wasn't a regular dream. Uh, it was so vivid, and the things that I saw as far as the movement of the giant and the horse, um, never seen anything like that before. Um, like I said, it terrified me. I couldn't move. and. Like I said, once he looked at me um, and then looked away, I, uh, a peace came over me. And like I said, uh, I just said, it's time. And I, like I said, I don't know what that means. I've prayed on it. I haven't got the answer yet. Um, I know that we are in the end times, but I know a lot of things have to happen that haven't happened yet. So um, if anyone could help me out, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All praises to the Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob.
I made that video three years ago. I now know what it's time means. It's time for the Most High to bring his giants, put in work on the heathen, and take us home. Judgment is almost over. The scripture I'm about to read to you, I didn't know when I had that dream. My video I created about the Sabians, giants, last week, gave me my answer. Isaiah 13, 2 through 6, and I read, Lift up a standard on the mountain of the plain. Exalt the voice to them. Beckon with the hand. Open the gates, ye rulers. I give command, and I bring them. Giants are coming to fulfill my wrath, rejoicing at the same time, and insulting. A voice of many nations on the mountains, even like to that of many nations. A voice of kings, and nations gathered together. The Most High Creator of hosts has given command to a warlike nation to come from a land afar off, from the utmost foundation of heaven. The Most High Creator and His warriors are coming to destroy all the world. How ye, for the day of the Most High is near, and destruction from the Most High Creator shall arrive. It's time for the Most High to send his giants. If you follow the Almighty Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob only, you have nothing to worry about, because those same giants are going to do this while they're tearing this place a new one. Isaiah 45, 14, and I read, Thus saith the Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the labor of Egypt and merchandise of Ethiopia and the Sabians, men of stature, giants, shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee, in chains they shall come over, and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely the Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is in thee, and there is none else. There is no other God. Fear only the Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Worship only the Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Praise only the Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If you deviate from only the Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you'll have the Most High Sabians to deal with. And I promise you, when you see them, they will scare you more than anything you've ever seen or imagined. And whatever they want to do to you, you can't stop them. They are coming to us and bowing down to us because they know the Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is in us. I pray you don't have Yahawablah in you when they come. Yahawablah shouldn't even be in your vocabulary. Mark my word, they're coming. So be it. All praise to only the Almighty, Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember Jerusalem. Have a beautiful day, family. Get ready.